friends. Happy Friday. I am all dressed. I'm about to go on my walk. Put some PD, personal development, in my ears. Um, but I was talking on my stories and I was like, I, I, sort of think, I need to come talk over here for a minute um, and remind you of a couple of things. Number one, you can begin again. I know I say this all the time because this is like, this is my own truth that I remind myself of often. It can be a really quick slide off track and it can be something that gains a lot of speed and then we go into this really nasty mean girl spiral. And sometimes we think that it's just not worth changing or it's too hard or you're too far gone or you're too far behind or you just get in this loop of nasty talk. And if that's where you are, I want to remind you that I see you and that you're not alone and you don't need some cataclysmic thing to begin again. You can simply just make a decision. And when I was new to my journey, like I never, I didn't participate in any sports growing up. It was not my cup of tea. Um, I really wasn't too big into fitness before I had kids. Like I, I did Pilates, I walked, I did an occasional yoga. But once I had all my babies, I actually hated myself. Like I hated who I had become. I hated what my body looked like. I was so freaking mean. And so I came to my fitness journey from this place of contempt. Like I have to change things. This is not okay. And on that journey, I was start stoppy and I was a chronic quitter and I was always looking for the proof that it wasn't working. It wasn't happening fast enough and I'm doing this wrong. And I had this really nasty cycle of starting and stopping and then binge eating and then shaming myself and then kind of going off the deep end and that cycle just kept repeating and it was a terrible loop and there were days i'd work out for literally hours hours and i was it was very unhealthy it was a very unhealthy negative season in my life and then i decided i literally just made a decision okay you could make the same decision that I was just done. I was done feeling shitty and I had to have reframe this and I had to come to it in a different, a different mindset. I made that decision overnight, but just because I made the decision overnight doesn't mean that anything in my life changed overnight. It was just now I had a different perspective of I'm here to win it. I'm going to play the long game. It doesn't matter how long it takes and it's okay if I screw up and I eat all the things. Because you, if you have any history with like any kind of binging or unhealthy cycle, like it's not simply just a decision. There's not just a healing and you wake up and you're like a whole different person. For me, it wasn't. It was literally just a decision. And that's why I share this every single freaking day. I feel like I'm always, because this is still my journey. This is still my freaking war. <laughs> like it, it's a daily decision not to have this perfect journey, not to check all the boxes, but just to keep that front of, of mind. Like it is literally a decision that we get to make. We get to make, we don't accidentally fall into it. It's not just I wake up and I'm suddenly in my pants and I'm on my Zoom. No, this, this is a decision I make every single day to show up and to begin again and to try fresh and to just do the next right thing, even on the days where I don't care and I don't want to. You guys, this group, this community, the morning Zooms, me being a coach, like these are all layers of that accountability. And maybe if you're struggling, maybe you'd need a different layer of accountability. Maybe you need to get on the Zoom. Maybe you need to have a text thread with a girlfriend. Maybe you need to become a coach and to help other people, not because you have it all figured out, but because you know there's a better way. And that what greater accountability than to like do that, to be honest and to be authentic and to share to share it. And while some of you are probably like, your skin is like literally crawling, you're crawling out of it, I cannot express how game changing it can be to, and it's so freeing to be like, this is my truth. Like it's really freaking hard or I'm struggling with my nutrition. Sometimes we just have to share that and you don't have to go, you know, blast it. You can share it with a friend. You can share it in here, right? But I just want to remind you of that, that it's literally just a decision that we get to make every single day. It's a decision we get to make. Did you hear me? We get to make this. It's the unsexy stuff, you guys, that will change our life, that will compound over time. 
And I am such a huge believer and proponent and it doesn't have to be perfect. Some is better than none and done is always, done is always better. Done is always better than perfect, right? Done is, some is better than none, done is better than perfect. There we go. So, you know, I am in a season of very low belief um, and I'm really struggling with my own mental health, but this keeps me grounded. This is my beacon and maybe some of you need that beacon. Okay, if you do, I just want you to know you're not alone. For the love of all this holy, I would really love it if more of you got on Zoom. <laughs> Seriously, do we need another time? Do we need to do an evening? I am totally game. I want to cheer you on. I need that. I need to be in the middle of the bed. I am in a season of like, my husband is gone. I feel like I'm literally on an island all by myself and it is hard. And the stuff that continues to come up in our journeys, the obstacle for you, maybe it's your self-talk or maybe it's your nutrition or maybe it is quitting, micro quitting on yourself. You know, those things will continue to reappear until we ha we heal them, until we look them in the freaking eye and say, I'm going to work my way through you. And so there's no reason to feel shamey or to like, you know, write in your journal 500 pages about it. Like, you literally just get to make it, you can make a decision today on a Friday that you're going to change your journey and you're going to change how you show up to it. And it won't be like a magical overnight. The decision can be overnight, but the action, building the habit, creating that next level version of you, it's not, it's not overnight. It's a decision. It's hygiene that you will continue to have to meet and and uphold that promise every single day. So how are you going to uphold your promise today? What do you need to realign? What do you need to reassess? And how can you win today? Because you are the one that gets to decide that you really are your own hype girl. Like I'll be your hype girl for forever. I'll cheer for you. I'll believe in you. If you have been off track and it's time for you to realign, I'm always here. Always. Always and forever. Amen. Even if you've unfriended me or you haven't talked to me or whatever, I'm still here. Forever, I'm, I want you to win at your life. I want to win at my life. So I'm going to keep doing the next right thing and encouraging you all to do the same. It doesn't have to be perfect because it definitely won't be, but that's part of the magic, right? Yay! So um, I've been brainstorming some fun new ideas, including a brand new challenge for November. I'm going to put together a calendar of flexibility, mobility, things that feel yummy because I had some really great feedback um, last week or this week about that, about sometimes it's overwhelming. Like, how do you put something? I mean, we have so many great programs. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes it's like you, you're not really feeling like doing a program. You're not on this, like, I want to do all the things and go crazy. Sometimes you just like, as we move into winter, I think, you know, winter is like menstruation. We're supposed to slow down. We're supposed to become a little less crazy and less, um, What's the right word? I don't know. We're just supposed to be, I think, a little quieter, a little slower this time of year. So I'm excited to put this together. All my favorite mobility, all my favorite flexibility. And I think it's going to be a really great opportunity for those of you who maybe you're kind of like, you're kind of wobbling a bit to like use this to, to keep that promise to yourself, to touch it every single day and to, to create that momentum and that, and to stretch that, flex that consistency muscle because it's a muscle, right? So I'm going to pair it with a bunch of stuff, a bunch of cool stuff that has served me. And they won't all be body workouts. Like I will make you a map and be like, this is where you find this. But there's also going to be stuff like yoga with Adrian, which is free on YouTube. So those of you who don't have an active membership, you can still participate. You can still do this. I'm going to provide you with some journal prompts every week. We're going to do this for a month. Some journal prompts, um, some of my favorite podcast recommendations. I'm going to share a recipe or two every single week. I'm just going to layer in things that feel yummy to me because that's how I've always, that's how I built my business is like, what do I need? Because a lot of you, you are like my soul sister and you need it too. So that's what I'm going to be working on. If you want the 411 on that, if you want to participate, let's go, you know, let's go. It's really fun to like be able to do this with those of you who are in it to win it alongside me. It doesn't need to be perfect, right? It just needs to be yours. So that's where we're at. That's where I'm at. I hope that you are choosing to collect your wins. And you know, maybe you were doing a program and you're feeling the best you ever have. If that is the case, I'm super excited for you. I'm so proud of you. Hold on to that. So often we, we hit this groove, well, not very, maybe not very often, but you hit a groove and you feel so good. Like you're just in flow. Everything just is clicking and you feel really good. And then something happens. 
Maybe you layer in a food or something that doesn't serve you or you pick back up a habit and before you know it, it starts to kind of fall apart and that's when we can start to question ourselves and doubt the process and lose belief. But I just want to remind you, it just comes back to that one decision that you're going to pivot something, you're going to change something and then it won't be overnight and it won't be perfect and it won't be effortless, but it is 100% worth it because when you feel, when you hit that space where you just feel good, there's nothing like that. And I want us all I would really like for all of us, that's probably a pipe dream, but I would like for a lot of us to enter into these winter months, finding that again, back in touch with that again, where you feel proud and you feel good and you feel honest with yourself. Do you know what I mean? When you make that promise and you keep it, like there's like this, this pride of this honestness or something. Anyways, if you watch this, I'm glad you're here. I hope that you are feeling good. And just know that I'm always cheering for you. If you need anything, I'll be catching up on my inbox today. Okay? Okay.